Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. that. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. But sometimes you got to do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I made no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy. I had to go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. Oh, man. Hey, check it, man. Boss Talk 101, man. Diddy just dropped an apology. Apologizing for what happened in 2016, I believe, with Cassie. And I'm telling you right now, man, the people are not trying to hear it. It seems like I looked, I looked and seen it, and there was a million comments before I could even look at it. And they're saying there is no forgiveness for Diddy. Crucify him, pretty much. Um, a lot of people saying that they don't think that this was really heartfelt, that he was faking. It's a lot of different people saying a lot of different things. So I had to tap in. I had to check this, man, because I was like, man, you know, uh, he seen the video come out. I guess it was something that he didn't know it was going to come out when it did. And um, now he's on here trying to, you know, let everybody know that he did seek help for that, counseling for that. Now, <clears throat> did he, you know, like I said, as a man, you know, and, and he just happened to be a man that's in the public eye. And, and there's men out here that done, done a whole lot worse. I'm not trying to say, but God, man, listen, man. I, and, and I know y'all don't want to bring God in it because y'all be like, no, nah, man, uh, man, you know, Diddy, he should have known better than that, blah, blah, blah. But I'm telling you now, man, all of us done, done wrong at times. Let me hold on one second. Let me get this right for y'all. I want y'all to hear this. We all, we all have done wrong, man. That book that y'all be reading today, because this is one of them days y'all read that book on, it says we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Now y'all saying it ain't no forgiveness for Diddy. But, but, but have you ever done anything? Is there anything that you've done or is, are you guys perfect out here? I'm gonna be real with you. I don't say that, that I mean, I, if, if they start saying who did what, when, and this years ago, I'm gonna be in trouble. I can't get this right, but we need to talk about this anyway, man. Like you guys are, are definitely, uh, uh, I like to hear what y'all got to say when they come down to stuff like this. That go right there. So y'all got to tell me what's going on because I ain't see this coming, man. I'm gonna be real with you. I didn't see this coming at all. I didn't see the apology coming. Most of the time when you see something like this, your lawyer, he tell you, man, don't be, uh, your, your lawyer be like, man, don't say nothing. Uh, don't say nothing. Uh, keep quiet. Don't say nothing. Let it die down. But I don't know who did it, PR person is, or a lawyer, or whatever, but ain't nobody, I don't know. It, 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 what's going on with this? You know, tell me. But I, I, I trips off of it, man. Let me, let me just say this, man. Diddy is one of the uh, guys that, you know, he, he got this behavior from this lifestyle that he, he has created. Um, and others that was around him, I guess. I don't know. But I just know that when he came out this morning, on Sunday morning, you know, he tried to let y'all know, man, that, uh, yeah, um, forgive me, really. But he said at the end, don't forgive me. I'm just saying I hate that it happened. So, guys, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call my friends. I'm, I'm going to let them on. I already, uh, I, OG Pyru and that girl Reality TV, and see what they had to say about it. Reality TV sent me this first thing this morning. So let me see what's going on. Hold on. Let me let me summon them. 
Now, this got me tripping. Hey, uh, OG Paru, you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Reality TV, you there? Yes, sir. You know I'm here. Reality. Well, I don't know. I know you seen it, uh, reality TV. You was one of them ones that said that. I mean, we all knew he done it. The, the video showed he done it. But what are you? What are you thinking uh, about this whole situation now that the videos come out? What are you one of those ones that say there's no justice for him or no forgiveness? I, oh, I always forgive. I, I think if you can forgive, but you will never forget. Okay. And that's what people feel the realize. You will never forget. So if he go to jail, we know he's not going to go to jail because they can't charge him. They already made a statement about that. But um, it's going to, it, he's tarnished his name, so it's going to be hard, you know, to make money now. So regardless of all that, I feel like he's still, we got justice regardless. But I feel like... Whoa, 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 whoa. We got justice. Yep. Who, what, how does it become a justice for you? Because I'm a woman. So this is a... a all women against men thing, or is this just about, no, about abuse? It's not a, it's not that, that, that's how black women look at it. No, 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 yeah, no. That, let me that, say, let me finish. Let me finish. We, we, we got a, we. You ain't got a dog in the no, fight. No. How does he get we? Yeah, uh, uh, go ahead and let her finish, OG Pyro. I'm going to give you the flow, Nick. Can I tell you why? Yeah. Let me tell you why. No. It's a lot of women out here that deal with stuff like that that's afraid. To step up. Cassie, I know she probably was afraid to step up because Biddy is a powerful man. We don't know the things that he could do. He has money. And it's a lot of men out here that have money and they can manipulate women to making them think certain things. It's weak-minded women out here. And a lot of men do prey on women like that. Especially an older man and a younger woman because they say you can uh, wound them as they say. Blah, 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 blah. It can be blah, blah, blah. Well, what, what, but the thing I'm, 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 I'm let me let me say this uh, before I, before I uh, call on OG Piru. Um, an older man manipulating a younger woman. Um, I, 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 I I don't I don't really I don't really I I, I don't want to. A younger woman. A younger woman. A older man, or you know, an older woman can do the same things to a younger man. Okay, all right, all right. Now, now you you said your piece. Hold on, let me let me OG Piru get in here for a second. OG Piru, what did you see in this apology felt by Diddy? Well, well, right now, I mean, like I say, it was scripted. I believe, you know, I, he had bad advice from white America because right now, he's in the darkest days of his life. In 2016, he was a Negro that thought he was invincible. Instead of just letting her go with what she had, he felt that he had to take law. I done been there. I done took law into my own hands and went to the pre took somebody to take something for me and I take the law in my own hands and then I end up in the in my darkest days. Why would you apologize though if somebody keeps Hold on, hold on. Let him let him let him, let him talk uh uh, uh reality TV. <laughs> because just like a Negro, we have like instead of keeping quiet and letting this die down, we always go, you look at the politicians, you look at Negroes, the first thing we do, we apologize. I was at 2016 wasn't his darkest day. He was at the high, 2018 when Kim Porter died, may have been kind of, but that just knocked somebody out the way. Today is his darkest day. And Negroes, every time something happened to them and they have to face white America, they run to Jesus. <laughs> Everybody want to be the folks. Now, Negro, just if you did it, you did it. Say why you did it, and let it be done. What, what about what about? I mean, do you think it was calculated for him to come out? Because he could have came out yesterday, but he ended up coming out today on Sunday morning. What is that all about? That's that's, that's all about emotion. Early one Sunday morning. Okay. Early, the resurrection oh. comes out and. And 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 prostrates herself to be the humble Negro, and when a woman, yeah, she was he was powerful. The people that are gullible, the women that are gullible are on welfare. All you manipulating type of women that's trying to get something for nothing. She knew the job was tough when she took it. 
You talk about, oh, you try, uh, he's a, she don't sell a record, she don't sing, she don't do nothing, she just in the way. So no, she did. All, these yeah, older but, men, these older yeah. men, these young women. No, but, that, but, but she did records at first, but she didn't do, but this me and you, that was the first hit. I think I want to make that move now, but I think Diddy was Diddy was working with her on that, I believe. Yeah, she she has. What? You, whoa, whoa, whoa! What do you mean? Of course. She has aspirations. She has aspirations to be a. Everybody's saying ain't 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 no star. You got some people in. So 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 OG, you didn't you didn't like the way she sang. No, it ain't that he didn't like the way she. No, I'm had. saying you. You didn't like. You did you like? He don't know. He don't know. He don't I don't. Know I don't know it from a can of paint. She ain't, she ain't from Compton. See, he don't know. He okay, don't well, know. wait a minute. Uh, reality TV. You, I, the did thing you know is. Reality. Okay, well, you don't know her either. Okay. She's a gold okay. digger. How? Thirty million dollars worth. How? That's Thirty million dollars worth. That's not gonna help her. That's not gonna help her. I done got booked up for way less than that. OG Piru, there's a lot of people that's that's uh, coming to 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 her defense in the comments because they say that you you know allegedly that she had run out of that room with a Rolex and and some uh, and a hundred thousand dollars when you said that. There's a lot of people that came to her defense saying that. Uh, you know, that that didn't happen that way, or if it did, he didn't have no right to touch it. Like I was telling you on there, I knew, you know, I, and I, and I, I kind of said that on there, but uh, you said different. What was up with that? He should have called the police instead of putting his hands on the fence and what happened, but we know that ain't happened. He had power. He had power, and he felt, well, whatever. Allegedly, all the people that's, that's claiming, I didn't see none of them on the tape either. So they don't know what the fuck happened until he said, or she said it didn't happen. Allegedly, he didn't just she run out of She described it exactly. Moment. She, she described it. Well, well, let me ask you she something. Dude. Uh, okay, I'm gonna give, uh, uh, and I'm gonna end it like this. And I, it's just a yes or no question. Do you think reality TV that his apology was sincere? No. Okay, that's it. Uh, OG Paru, I'm gonna ask you that same question. No. So it's it, no one believes Diddy. Apology was sincere. They feel like it was something that was pretty much propped up, guys. Um, I just want to say, man. Let, let me let me say this. Do you what do you feel like? What do you call sincerity? Right now, he ass out. His ass is showing it ain't nothing for him to do. So it's sincere to try to cop a plea, but he don't mean it. Okay. All right. Let me and I and, and I, I hear you loud and clear on that one, OG Pyru. Guys, uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you try and uh, make sure um, if there's any uh, comments you want to put down here. Do you feel like his his apology was sincere? Do you agree with uh, OG Pyru and uh, Reality TV? Uh, let us know in the, in the comments what you think. And um, also, guys, uh, I will say that that um you know this is a bad situation for diddy's kids as well and and seeing all this come out and also cassie's family for seeing this come out but these guys dealt with this in 2016 um diddy did say he did get counseling after this and that he did uh, seek help and i agree with og pyru as well that um that that this was a dark hour this is the darkest hour that he's had to face thus far though that was a profound word from uh OG Piru and and also reality TV has a point as well when you look at you know is he sincere did he do it right now you have to be sincere because he's in his darkest hour man thank you guys for liking subscribing to the channel make sure you join the membership make sure you get in the comments let us know your thoughts on P Diddy apology thanks yeah we on boss talk TV shout out to e the reason you see